I didn't realize that we as human beings, we base other people's possibilities on our limitations or other people base our possibilities on their limitations. And so if we go to other people to, to ask them what, what we think about what we're capable of doing, you know, we as human beings, we reject what we don't understand and we base our, our possibilities on what we know. And if we've never done anything before, then it's like, we don't know. And so my mom taught me some of these, these great life lessons that, uh, you know, helped me get to that point where I'm like, you know what? I didn't understand it as a young man, but I do now, like I do now. There's some, there's some things that I understand that are predictable, repeatable, and duplicatable. And, uh, and we can get people on top of their mountains and we can help people get out of their chairs. And, um, it took me a journey to figure it out. It took me my accident to figure this out. And, and, you know, I continue to chase down my dream because it sings so loud. And I, under, I understand that most of the, your listeners, their dream isn't to play football. But I do know that everyone has a dream. Everyone has a song inside them and the world needs to hear that music. So whatever your dream is, whatever that song is that's inside your soul, let it out. Let people listen to it. The whole world's not going to want to listen to your song, but that's okay. But the world needs you. And so, you know, I share this with you to, to answer your question. Like, how did I discover this? That it was me, that I, I am the problem and I am the solution. And and the way I learned that was chasing after my dreams and, and holding on to it and grasping onto it and, and re receiving an opportunity to go play at BYU. You know, my senior year in high school, um, I come home from practice and there's a letter on the table from the school that I wanted to go to. And I'm like, what? Because everyone had told me, you can't do this, you can't do that. And that word I can't is poisonous, it's debilitating. It is limiting. So eliminate that word from your vocabulary, I can't. And, uh, and if you're going to, if you're going to say, I can't yet, perfect. Or if I can't, unless it's impossible, unless you add that word, unless, and I'm telling you right now, it is impossible. And you can't, if you continue to be the victim, if you continue to think that uh, the problem lies outside that lies somewhere else. And, uh, and so, you know, I come home from practice and there's a, an envelope on the table and just make sure I wasn't dreaming. Cause I was told my, my whole life. You can't do this. You can't do that. And I touched the embossed helmet. I open up the envelope. I pull out the envelope. And there was a letter addressed from the legendary Hall of Fame coach, Lavelle Edwards, inviting me, the short, slow white guy, to come play at WIU for him. And uh, I tasted the sweetness of success, experienced what it would be like to be on the field, to be on the big stage, not just in the stands, not just on the sideline, but to be in and on the field, in the game and on the field. And um, as successful leaders and leaders of success, we have to learn how to not just get people to the stadiums, but out of the stands and onto the sidelines and put a jersey on their backs and get them into the get them into the game called life. Because once you start to play life, oh my goodness, it starts to open up and you start to experience things in, in a different light. You get to hear things, see things, taste things, smell things, experience things that you've never done before. And you and the only way to do that is to live your purpose, to live your passion, to live your dreams. And that's what most people don't know what to do. They don't, they don't know how to, you know, develop their dreams or accomplish their dreams because they don't know what they want. And fortunately for me, I knew what I wanted. 